time for our Gateway Live update. Today's the 5th of August, Wednesday. And yes, tonight at 7.30 p.m. we have special guest worship leader tonight. Got to give Mike a little break. Um, special guest worship leader tonight at 7.30. And then we're going to finish chapter 16 of Second Samuel and go into chapter 17 and complete that, Lord willing. So join us tonight as we continue in the life of David. Uh, we just sent emails out. You should be getting them if you haven't already got them in your email and on uh, social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So uh, for today, we're in Mark. We've just been casually going through the Gospel of Mark, looking at the ministry of Jesus. This is a ministry for during the COVID time where we're both being, I don't know, bombarded with information, a lot of it bad and false, a lot of it true and mixed, and politics have got in the way of what is real and what is not real. And many, many people are deceived. So many people are deceived. And my prayer is that you are not one of those people who's deceived, but that instead you are looking to seek truth and follow the Lord Jesus and not those voices on news networks and those people on network TV who speak not the truth. God will lead you into truth if you're really seeking. There's so much deception, so many weird things going on. And we welcome you today and good afternoon. Welcome to another afternoon and Let's get into our passage in the th third chapter of the Gospel of Mark. And as we do, again, I want to remind you tonight, special worship in 2 Samuel chapter 16 and 17. We're going to begin in verse 13, where the apostles are chosen in Mark again. It's the abbreviated versions, which we like about Mark. It's fast. It goes by, and it always is action-packed and exciting. In chapter 3, verse 13, it says, And Jesus went up the mountain and called to him those himself he wanted. And they came to him. Then he appointed 12, 12, certain number. Now, it's interesting. There's 12 tribes in Israel. He appointed 12 apostles from different tribes and some from the same. He appointed 12 that they might be with him and that he might send them out to preach and to have power to heal sickness and to cast out demons. Simeon, Simon, who, to whom he gave the name Peter, Rocky. James, the son of Zebedee, and John, the brother of James, to whom he gave the name Boronagus, the sons of thunder. Andrew, who's Peter's brother, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon the Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot, who also betrayed him. And they went into a house. <laughs> Called them on a mountain, they go into a house. And all these men who knew the word who were good jewish boys preached the gospel cast out demons and healed the sick yes including judas he did that's a fact it says in then verse 20 the multitude came together again so that they could not so much as eat bread and but when his own people heard about this they went to lay hold of him for they said he's out of his mind. His family thought he was going nuts. What's he doing? They were worried. And the scribes who came down to Jerusalem said, he has Beelzebub. Now Beelzebub is the mockery name of the devil. Lord, Beelzebub. The, it's a play on the word Lord of the Flies because in Gehenna is where 
they said things happen after death. There were flies because there was trash. And so they made fun of Satan. Instead of Baal, Zebub, they said, called him Beelzebub. Beelzebub, he has. The ruler of the demons. That's who he casts him out by. So Jesus called them to himself and said to them in parables, how can Satan cast out Satan? Now, in Hebrew, he's saying to them, how can the adversary cast out the adversary? Because that's what they called him. That's possible, isn't it? It's crazy. How can he do that? If a kingdom is divided against itself, the kingdom cannot stand. That's why I'm concerned for the United States of America right now, because it's divided against itself. Real bad. Real bad. How can it stand? That's why I don't know if it's going to stand. And that's why you need to be right with God. And if a house divided against itself, how can the house cannot stand? And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand but has an end. No one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds up the strong man and then he'll plunder his house. There's some security guard in the house and you go into it, you got to, well, back in those days, they didn't kill you. They just tied you up so you couldn't do anything and took all your stuff. And that's what Jesus is saying. You got to bind. You have to bind the strong man. It's got to be bound. It's got to be held back so he can't do anything. And they had no idea what they were talking about when they said that about Jesus. In verse 28, Assuredly I say to you, all sins will be forgiven the sons of men. But whoever blasphemes, whatever blasphemies they may utter, blasphemy means speaking evil of, particularly to God, but whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will never, uh, the Holy Spirit never has forgiveness, but is subject to eternal condemnation because they said he has an unclean spirit. And Jesus is saying that all sins will be forgiven. All sin, all sin. But he said, except for blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Now, a lot of people worried about, oh, no, I did it. I did it. I know I did it. Blaspheming the Holy Spirit is calling what Jesus did from Satan. The power of the Holy Spirit, who is in Jesus without measure, calling that from Satan, Jesus equated to blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Listen, don't try, don't mess around with it. I even worry about some fundamentals who overdo it on condemning gifts of the Spirit. We need to be careful with all that because Jesus said brings eternal condemnation. King James, eternal damnation. Nobody wants that. Don't be involved in doing that. Now, again, a lot of stuff out there that people say in Jesus' name is fake. I know that. and But Jesus did not do anything except from God, what the Father told him to do. So to call that for these guys to say that, they were bringing upon themselves damnation. That's what they were bringing upon. And he said that pretty clear. Now, again, if you think you blaspheme the Holy Spirit and you care about it, that's proof that you didn't because you have the Holy Spirit conviction. Don't get involved in that kind of stuff. That's all. I mean, a lot of people did some crazy things. And finally, as his own were coming to him towards the earlier part of the chapter, we come back to that. Here in verse 31 says, Then his brothers and his mother came standing outside and sent to him, calling him. And a multitude was sitting around him. And he said, Look. They said, Hey, hey, yo, master, look. Your mother and your brothers are out here. Standing outside waiting for you. But he answered them and said, Who are my mother or my brothers? And he looked around in a circle at those who were about him. And he said, Here are my mother my brothers. For whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. That's what Jesus said. And you are if you do the will of God. Totally different. Totally different than well, how I grew up. How when I grew up, we sang in church, O Sat Atismia, 
O most holy one, virgin evermore. That's what we used to sing to. And we used to sing to Mary because she was so righteous and holy and Jesus practically worshiped her. But see what happened when I was 23, year old, 23 years old and read the Bible, I was horrified to see Jesus said this because Jesus never lifted up man, any person. Mary was a person. When you read what Mary said, read and read what Mary said there and the Magnificat, we call it, the first Latin word of that and the first and second chapter of Luke. If you read that carefully, you'll read in chapter one there what Mary said when the angel gave her the good news. She said, my heart rejoices in God, my Savior. In God, my Savior. She needed a Savior too. And Mary is a great person. She should be called blessed for all generations. But see, in the group I grew up in, we worshipped her. We sang, um, Ora, Ora, um, mm, Pro Nobis. Pray for us. Intercede for us. That's what we used to pray to her all the time and, and sing. But see, I can go right to Jesus. You can go right to Jesus. Jesus says, if you are doing what he said, if you're following him, you are his brother and sister and mother and father. That's who you are. And we'll pick up there tomorrow. And we just thank you guys for joining us uh, today as we continue here in the Gospel of Mark. And I have a couple of things I want to say besides this. And I promise we'll come back as we're in chapter four. I told you it's going to go fast as we see who Jesus really is and what Jesus did. And how important it is to be in tune with the Lord Jesus today, right now. Hey, listen, you might have been five years ago, three years ago, or two months ago. You have to be in tune with him right now because there's so much deception right now. In the news, there's so much deception. There's so many lies. There's so much disaster going on. There's so much division. And everything that we hear, we don't know the truth. Just like this hearing that's going on right now in Washington. You don't really know the truth because people have different stories and it's kind of crazy. And they, who, what side is really real? You yeah, know, I mean, I know I prefer, but you know, what's the real news? What's real truth? What's not? And the way to do that is to be involved with the same Jesus whom we just read about there saying, who is my mother and brother? That same Jesus is available for you and I today. That same Jesus wants to call you his brother and sister. That's what he wants. Why wouldn't you want that? And why wouldn't you want a relationship with the living God today? Why would you want to go with religion? Why would you want to go with what people tell you? Why would you go with the status quo? Go with Jesus. It's all about Jesus and it, it's about knowing him about knowing him and, and really I encourage you guys to do that even if you've known him for years to continue with a current relationship with him because you know five years ago you get out of revival in your life and walking real strong ten years ago it could have been great but what is it now he's the God of the right now as well as the God of the past and the future and you need him. You need him. I need him. And he will lead you. If you seek him, he will lead you. If you're worried about what to do, about, oh no, Corona, seek him. Jesus is the answer. As you always sing and say and everything, Jesus is the answer for the world today. He is. If you're worried about the politics, if you're worried about the divisions of people and cities and the riots, and the craziness. And all know, what if this other guy gets elected in November? Or what happens if the current president gets reelected? There's going to be rioting even worse. You know, we can worry about that all day and all night. But our faith needs to be in the Lord Jesus Christ first. You need to get that taken care of and solid right now, guys. Get it solidified. 
your relationship with the Lord because that is what matters for eternity. Presidential appointments only are four calendar years. Four, four, I'm thinking about eternity. Like I said, Jesus, we read Jesus' own lips. A kingdom divided against itself can't stand. Our nation divided against itself can't stand. It's very divided right now. Very divided. So place your hope and your trust in the kingdom of God. In his kingdom, you can be secure. Amen. Don't forget, guys, to join us tonight at 7.30 for live worship and Bob Sutt again special guest worship leader tonight you're going to be upset that you missed it if you didn't we'll be here live you can come we're spaced we're separated we're masked and clean and sanctified so you can come and enjoy the service live or you can tune in here on Facebook live or you can see it on Twitter live from the feed from Boxcast or even if you want to you can watch it on YouTube live on your TV. If you have an app on your TV, you watch it right on the big screen. Whichever way you want to do it. Of course, we encourage you to come fellowship if you can. But you can enjoy it from home. Air conditioned there, air conditioned here. Hey, doesn't matter. But join us. We just sent the email out right before the webcast. Please open your email. Check your email and click on it. When you click on it, you help Gateway. I always say that just by opening that mail and clicking on something you help gateway financially isn't that a blessing to do just like when you like our facebook page if you never have or subscribe to our youtube page you help gateway do you want to help gateway there's a way you can do it if you want to help gateway by giving you can click on giving it go to gatewaychristianchurch.com and yourfaith.org and click right on giving you can give right there securely and safely you can mail it in you can drop it off you could throw it in i don't care how you do it but you could do that and because it's summertime and things are slim here and we really appreciate those of you guys who support your local church even during times of crisis we can encourage you to continue to pray for one another don't forget 9 p.m tonight prayer after church wherever we're at whatever we're doing nine o'clock we're praying we get down about 8 30 or 8 40 we'll be praying at 9 p.m join us wherever you're at drop what you're doing people need the lord that's the answer it's not fighting politics it's people need the lord stand up for what's right stand up for the unborn stand up for children who are being abused you have to do that but people need jesus right now bring him to them invite them to see this our service tonight or all the above we'll see you tomorrow here at noon and we'll see you tonight at 7 30 until then may god's richest and blessed be yours oh by the way if you know where that quote comes from and i didn't tell you you get ten dollars just ten dollars just by tell if you tell me where i got that quote from may god's richest and blessed be yours and um i like saying that and We'll see you tonight and tomorrow. Bye.